be back. Uh, and uh, all right, I think what we'll do is we'll bring in uh, Sachra then uh, Utekar of uh, Trade Bulls. He's joining us, and this is uh, in our segment Charting Trends. Uh, Sachin Adhan, great to have you with us here. Good morning. Uh, so, you know, the market's been at a high, but uh, at the margin, there have been concerns that maybe we are running into some amount of resistance uh, because, uh, you know, the, maybe it's just that the gains were so sharp, but the market needs to consolidate. But how are you, you seeing things? Uh, good morning, Prashant. Uh, clearly, I think uh, when we look at the... Uh, uh, weekly setup, you know, uh, there is a good amount of caution uh, which has been indicated by the price and uh, some of the indicators. So I think going forward, uh, uh, you know, what we have observed is that uh, uh, the market could remain uh, more of consolidated. Uh, every time we are moving higher, you know, uh, there's a good amount of profit booking evidence which has been uh, displayed by the market. And on the lower side, it has been trying to defend uh, the 22,000 mark. So I think uh, the immediate range uh, that has been exhibited here uh, is that uh, the support at 22,000 remains, uh, you know, uh, very well built in. But on the higher side, uh, 22,400 uh, could be a supply zone for, at least for this particular week. Uh, if you look at the weekly uh, setup, you know, if you look at the weekly charts, uh, this is the first time wherein, uh, uh, you know, we are give, uh, getting a very strong evidence of a negative divergence. So probably, you know, this is again uh, reconfirming the fact that why uh, after every, uh, you know, move on the upside, uh, uh, we are, the Nifty has been facing a lot of profit booking. So if you look at uh, the weekly scale, there's a good uh, evidence of a negative divergence on its RSI. Uh, the weekly RSI has started trending below the 70 levels. And the last time uh, when we saw that, uh, you know, uh, uh, this particular phenomena, we saw a very strong surge from the base at around 19,000. Uh, up to you know 20 uh, uh, almost around 22,000 uh, uh, 22, levels uh, we did not see any major uh, change in uh, stance when it comes to rsi but rsi right now uh, for the last couple of weeks has been falling uh, despite uh, of the fact that the price has been rising so it's a it's a good indication that somewhere uh, uh, the confidence level of the trend uh, is not that great so probably we may see uh, the nifty uh, you know continuing on the consolidation mode Okay, what about individual stocks? Anything that you like in terms of sectors or big trends that you're noticing? Well, Sony, I think uh, Nifty IT has already uh, shown a, a good strong run up. Uh, but if you look at uh, the recent setup, even here, uh, the focus is on the uh, negative divergence. And if you look at the daily scale uh, on the Nifty IT, uh, we have seen a good strong evidence of a triple top kind of formation. Uh, there is a good amount of supply pressure at uh, near to around 38,000, 38,500 zone, and uh, this is the first time when, in, when uh, on its uh, daily scale, the RSI value is falling below the 50 mark. So I think this is a, a crucial juncture. Probably we may see uh, the Nifty IT uh, displaying a correction. So we we are of the opinion that uh, sooner or later we may see a, a, a quick decline in Nifty IT. Uh, we may see the levels of around 36,000, 36,500. And after that, again, we may see the resumption of the trend. So right now, I think there is a good uh, supply pressure here. And from the pack, uh, I think Tech Mahindra has been one of the weakest counters. And this is where we are, uh, you know, uh, uh, looking at an opportunity to add some fresh short positions here. If you look at the uh, weekly setup, uh, we saw an engulfing bearish uh, kind of formation at the upper end of the uh, rising channel uh, trend. And uh, this particular formation, post this formation, we have seen a good amount of supply pressure. Even here, uh, last week, we saw a kind of a spinning top uh, on the weekly scale, exhibiting that uh, there could be further weakness. Uh, the moment uh, the stock starts trending below, uh, you know, uh, 1270, 1265 mark, uh, we may see this particular decline getting extended towards 1200, uh, where it's, uh, you know, 200 day exponential mean average is also placed. So I think there are, uh, there's a good evidence that any opportunity on the upside should be utilized to create some short positions. Right up to 1300, uh, 1320 would be an ideal zone. Keep a stop loss at 1340 and uh, review your positions uh, near to 12, 30, 1200 levels. Got it. All right, Sachi. Thanks so much for joining in and giving us that call. Looking to create short positions on TechMind. Appreciate you joining in and filling us in with all of those details. Well, for the time being, though, we'll slip in a short break. You can